Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions. Both of them are going to be about hemoglobin and questions below may have more than one correct answer. So the first question is the function of the hemoglobin is and you have to choose one of these answers. Take a look at this picture of the hemoglobin and what you can see red blood cell and here is a hemoglobin that consists of four smaller subunits and each subunit has a heme group attached which contain one molecule of iron which gives a red color to this protein. Average erythrocyte has about 300 million such proteins per one cell. Check the variance of the answer. The function of hemoglobin is to pick up oxygen in the lungs and this is correct statement. Now let's check statement B to convert oxygen to carbon dioxide and water and this is wrong statement. Variant C to transport oxygen. This is also correct statement. Variant D to release oxygen in the lungs. This is wrong statement. But the next statement to release oxygen in the body tissues is a correct statement. So we can choose variant A, variant C and variant E as correct statements. And next question, the polypeptide chain that fits together to make one hemoglobin molecule are held together by and here is the variants of the answers. So what forces held together these four subunits? Variant of the answer A, disulfide bonds, which can be formed between two cysteines and which is a form of covalent bonds is not the correct answer. So answer A and B is wrong answers. Let me skip variant C for now and let's talk about variant D. When oxygen binds to the heme group, for example, even one molecule of oxygen when binds to one heme group will change conformation of this polypeptide chain and also all the rest. The other oxygen molecules would have a better access and better affinity with heme groups, but it doesn't cause binding between these polypeptide chains. And by the way, when molecule of oxygen would be released from one polypeptide chain, from one heme group, this polypeptide chain would change slightly its three-dimensional form, its conformation, and this would cause chain reaction and all the rest heme group also would release oxygen. So now, as you see, the only correct answer here is going to be non-covalent interactions. And let me show you what kind of non-covalent interactions. One of these interactions is going to be Van der Waals forces between non-polar side chains. Another one is going to be salt bridges between R groups that has different charge, positive and negative charge. So they would form salt bridges. Another example is going to be hydrogen bounding. And the last non-covalent interactions that held together these four polypeptide chains would be hydrophobic interactions. So this is the only correct choice would be answer C.